I always liked clowns as a, as a child, and I always liked the comedy. Uh, but I didn't want to be a clown. I didn't want to be a clown, no. I was reading medieval history, and I read about the jester, and I thought, oh, this is interesting. And I started reading about the fool, and then I knew it was like a light being turned on. This is me. This is what I want to do. I want to go and fool people. My name is Jonathan D. Hadley and I am a court jester. Well, without a court actually, so I'm really more of a court, you know, jester, uh, 600 year old fool. Because I was working on the top fly floor of, the, of His Majesty's Theatre in Perth. And I was reading medieval history at the time. And I realised, as I started reading about the jester and the fool, this is it. This is, this is who I want to be. Yes, a jester. That's me. reaction from people uh, and kids children reaction from children which is so innocent and and and, uh, and honest and and just the parents and people around just enjoying themselves at, uh, and laughing at the antics of the fool because that's part of it it's not just laughing with the fool sometimes you laugh at the fool That is Dick Whittington. Yes, it is. He was the Lord Mayor of London. Yes, he was. And his claim to fame was that he made the world's largest privy. Mmm. Over 67 seats. And not a division between them. Mmm. Jonathan, just tell me a bit about the role of the court jester. Uh, the, the role of the court jester is to bring good luck to the court and to everyone else. And to take away all the bad luck. And to do that with laughter. And that is quite an art. All the history of, of jesters in the past have shown that they, they've all worked until they basically died. And the reason for this is, is the birthright of fools. And the birthright of fools is the same as the birthright to monarchs. We're both born to be what we are. Well, I was 26 when I, when I became a jester and that took quite a lot of thinking about for me. And when I got that moment, yes, a jester, yeah, that was it. Like everything came together. That is what you are supposed to do. You are to go out and spend your life making people laugh. one of the oldest visual gags in the world. Uh, my father actually actually was a comedian as well. He, well, he had children, so he, he kept a, a job as an accountant uh, and, and, and brought us all up and didn't take the risks, you know. And he, he, he didn't really want me to be on the stage taking those risks because he saw them himself, which you know, actors don't earn much money, they're out of work a lot, and you know, a lot of problems. Yeah, it's, it's not, not as busy as it, as it once was. But then, then, you know, times have changed. Things were very, very busy, what, 20 years ago, 25 years ago. The world moves on and, and, and the, the businesses move on. I mean, we did, did lot, there's not the festivals there used to be. So you, 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 you have to be diverse, you have to be, be, be adaptable. Hey! 
see, when I first came to London town, oh, why I thought this is a strange place. For this dog came out barking at me. And I then it started to chase me. And I thought, whoa, I'll grab, grab a stone. I reached down for a stone and the stone would not come up. And I thought, what a strange place this is where they tie up the stones and they let the dogs run free. And that comes from the 14th century. You know, people have come and come and gone, and I have concentrated on on the career, if you like, yeah. And and the, and I found I, I had the opportunity to travel, and go and work in the UK and work in in uh, castles in the UK and in Germany and worked in Germany and Austria. Uh, so, when you find it, find you you you've got that sort of freedom. It's not that you don't want to give up the freedom. It's, it's that I would have given it up if the right person had come along and wanted to stay. But a lot of people didn't want to stay. They may not have seen the jester as being the sort of career that they wanted their husband to have. So then children didn't come along. So then you realise that because of your lifestyle and you're making people laugh and that's what you want to do and you can continue to do it in that, in that way, then the cost is you don't have the children. looking at costume and uh, and I was reading about the 13th century and there was a long long smock type costume so that was easy easy enough to make that sort of thing and then it was about is about his mentality is about how he sees the world and and how he sort of in a way is opposite to the world uh, and and cr crisscrossing it not really sort of actively being in the world as the world is. So I knew about him you know, bringing good luck and so on and so forth, and he sometimes had a bladder, or, and also the jester has a bauble, which is to ward off the evil eye. So you have these sort of things to play with, and then you can have a, a, the bauble to, to, to interact with, and you can have a dialogue. So that's how things started. And then you think, well, this is not, not enough. You've got to have other things in there. And so you start to parody some of the things in the world and other performers, like, for example, fire eaters. And fire eaters are revered because they have fire. And everyone, oh, yes, the fire eater. Well, wow, you know. So when the person says, right, I will give you fire. And out comes cloth fire. Everyone's going, oh no, this is a bit ridiculous. But he does all the same things that the fire eaters do with the piece of cloth. <laughs> Believing it to be so wonderful and everyone sees it as so foolish and stupid, they're laughing their heads off at it. His stupidity uh, goes over the top. So, so pride comes before a fall. <laughs> this is to test a person's strength and courage. Put out your hand like this and then. <laughs> didn't hurt a bit. No, it didn't really look. <laughs> See? <laughs> Things just happen, and you just, just enjoy doing it. So it is an alternative lifestyle, yes. And things happen to you that you didn't expect, or you rather, you, and you make them happen. It's not that they, things happen because you're sitting back and waiting for the phone to ring, because the phone will never ring. So you've got to, you've got to give it a try. And if it pays off, well, that's fine. If it doesn't pay off, well, you haven't lost anything. And so it's the same with the castles, you know, um, applying at Warwick Castle. And I got in and I spent seven years at Warwick Castle. But that came to an end. And when that came to an end, I was starting to work at, a, 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 at a other castle. I was working at, at Headingham Castle. And, and I also worked for some English heritage castles not long afterwards. But if, if 
Warwick hadn't come to an end, and I didn't want it to come to an end, but had it not come to an end, then I would not have been at Headingham for so long, and I would not have been at some of the English heritage castles. You're, you're getting older and older in yourself, and you realise that you are only a, a minute piece of the history of this castle. As it's, you see it, I can see it in my mind's eye now. It stood for a thousand years. But then, one day, I took over from another jester who was there before me. Taro the jester was there before me. And he was there for quite a long time, got, I got old and couldn't do it anymore. And I took over from him. And now I'm not there, but the castle's still there. Wit, and it be thy will, put me into good fooling. For those wits that think they have thee do oft prove fools. And I, I that know that I lack thee, may pass for a wise man. For what says Quinn of Palace? A better a witty fool than a foolish wit. <laughs> and this fellow is wise enough to play the fool. And to do that craves a certain kind of wit. For he must observe those upon whom he jests, the quality of the persons and the time, and that is as full of labour as is the wise man's art. And if music be the food of love, play on, I say, give me excess of it! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.